everyone welcome to the salesforce interview questions advanced and scenario based so let's talk about interview question number three so in the interview sometimes they will ask you like uh, why we use test dot start test and uh, test dot stop test in salesforce so there are two main benefits for which we use this first of all when we use test dot start test and stop test we get actually the new set of governor limits so for example if we have already utilized some queries and DMLs. So you get a fresh limit because of this. And the second benefit is this is something quite useful for you right, while you are using asynchronous subjects for the asynchronous scenarios like batch class and future class. If you are calling any method asynchronous functionality between start test and stop test, then Salesforce will ensure that before you hit stop test, the entire asynchronous process will be completed. Means if you use any system.assert function to compare the accuracy of the values after stop test, you will always get accurate values because before stop test, Salesforce will ensure all your asynchronous transactions are complete. So this you can answer in the interview. Let's meet in the next interview.